my today and my tomorrow. He is the I am that I am. He is the great Jehovah Jireh. He is the great El Shaddai. Oh, how wonderful is his name. How marvelous is he. Oh God, I thank you because you came not for the righteous. Because I would never receive you. Because I am a sinner. Need only saving grace. I'm only saved through faith in you, Lord. For those who are out there who are hearing this tape, I want to call you. And I want to tell you that God is real. Because I have found out how real he is. There's so many testimonies that I can truly tell you about. But hear me, friend. This tape that I am doing, it is not a Jerry Thompson thing. I use the name The Equalizer because together we stand. Let us even the odds for the children out there who, who have no refuge. This tape is available to each and every one of you out there who's dealing the drugs, who's carrying the gun. Believe me, God is going to work a miracle through this tape. I truly believe that and when I use his name, I do not want to use it in vain because unless he has called me, I've learned not to say God said it. But through faith, if you have faith, if you own one of these tapes and you're listening right now, participate because united we stand, divided we fall. Believe, reach out and give somebody one of these tapes. Somebody that you know is in need to hear this tape this moment. Reach out and give them something good. The substance, the word of God. What greater gift can anybody give to another individual? And I pray to God that this testimony may help somebody out there. Because it helped me to put my gun down. It helped me to leave the prostitution alone. To leave the strip joints. To leave all. Because the Lord tell me that all things have passed away. And all things have become new friend of mine, there's a renewness. And I am truly your friend because I understand what you're going through now. You might not be able to drop it today or tomorrow, but remember Jesus. Remember that he saves and he keeps and he sanctifies. Remember that he is everything. He is the I am that I am. He is the great Jehovah, the great El Shaddai. Remember him, friend. And these tapes are available for you if you're ready to put the gun down. I will give them to you. And all I ask in return is that you may give unto others and give back to me half of that money that you sell to receive that tape to come out of that predicament. Just that I may continue the giving to others. That is all that I ask because this tape is not a Jerry Thompson tape. It is a believer's tape. It is he that believe it that is going to receive. And if you are ready to stop what you're doing, I am willing through the power invested in me through Jesus Christ to give unto you these things. So find me wherever I am. My phone number is 416-680-6580. And if you cannot reach me at that number, I want you to take this tape and duplicate it and give to somebody else because it ain't about money. It ain't all about money. It's more important about than that. It's about our young people. They're dying. Can't you see for yourself what drugs is doing? It's robbing them of their future. It's taking away all that we as parents as embedded in them and pray that good may come. But hear me, folks. God is not dead. He is still alive. And if you are there and you're listening to this tape, I urge you to say this prayer and accept the Lord as your personal Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Need to be saved by grace through faith in thee. And I've listened to this tape, Lord God, and I truly believe that it is calling me personally. Because, Lord God, never before have I heard such a thing. Never before have I heard such a testimony that has brought me alive. To realize that there can be changes. Jesus, save me now. I accept thee, Lord God, as my personal Savior. Because thou hast truly forgiven me of my sins. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, of my sins. Because I've done wrong. 
I've done so much wrong, I think that I don't know if any pastor would forgive me or the Pope would forgive me or anybody would forgive me on this earth but Jesus Christ you said that even the vilest offender I shall forgive and I come at your door now Lord God and I knock you said if anybody knock come in Jesus Christ I urge hear me folks God is everything receive him regardless of the position that you're in receive him there are many people out there that are lying they're telling lies but yet they profess that they're born again so one of you who has the gun in your waist and dealing drugs you too can look to Jesus and say Lord Jesus come into my heart come in to stay make a change I know that it won't happen overnight because even when I professed that I was born again I was still in the gambling house I was still out there doing wrongs because where I went and received Jesus as my personal savior they did not know of the things that I was doing but listen to me there's gonna come a day when Jesus Christ is gonna make that full change inside of you but your faith must grow and it is a daily walk and even though you have wrongs in your life, you can truly believe that God will make that change. Because he said, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Or faith is the evidence of things not seen, the substance of things hoped for. So don't give up because you're all too legit to quit. You hear what I'm saying, folks? We're too legit to quit. And remember, for those of you who are out there and can help somebody by giving them one of these tapes because your affordability is the dependability of others who may profit. And it's giving somebody eternal life because it's the best gift that you can give. So give them this tape and reach out to them that they may be helped through this tape. I ask not for donations. I ask not for charity. I heard a story once when it says, teach a man how to plant corn and how to grow his own crop. And he does not have to come and knock at your door and beg. And this is all I ask you to do. Not to send in donation, folks, because I'm not interested in that. But please buy one of these tapes if you truly believe you know somebody that it can help and give it to them and say this is a gift in love, in goodness, in peace. Son of mine, this is a gift from your mother. Daughter of mine, this is a gift from your mother or from your father or from friend or whoever you may be. You know what the problem is. And I truly know that it is only God that can solve the problem because he's the only problem solver. Precious Jesus, I ask now, O oh Lord God, through thy faith, O oh Lord Jesus, upon thy son that died on Calvary, that you may reach out, Lord God, to the drug addicts, the gunmen, the people who are in the dances who, are, who just don't have any other refuge but the dance, the rough derogative music that is saying about the mothers, that is putting down mothers and fathers, Lord Jesus, reach their hearts. I pray, oh Lord God, that all the artists that are singing these derogative music, that you may touch their hearts, that they may find cleansliness, that is godliness, that they may not only chase the dollar, but that they may chase the almighty God for his salvation. That there may be a change in the air because music is the thing that is robbing so much people of salvation. Through music, they're receiving so much wrongdoing, aggressiveness. Precious Jesus, reach those artists' hearts. And I thank God for people like George Banton that is singing the gospel, that is out there in a positive way. There are so many others, oh Lord God, but I sort of looked up to him as a young man growing up. And now, oh Lord Jesus, I can truly say that I am proud to know him. Because he's singing the gospel. 
And we need so many more like myself because I know that I could be out there singing so many other things. There is no money in the gospel, but there is salvation. And salvation is no comparison to dollars and cents. But it is only those who have seen the truth can truly realize what salvation is. I am a poor man and I will continue being a poor man until others have received the riches that I too have received. Because I'm only poor in the eyes of the people, but in the eyes of God, I am, oh hallelujah, a believer. And the cattle upon many mountains belongs to God. And if the cattle and the land and all things belong to Him, how then can I say I'm poor? I am rich in Jesus Christ. I am rich with salvation. I am rich through His goodness and His blessing. And His blessing has helped me to give unto you. So truly I can say that I am rich. I love you all. And may God bless you. May He continue to bless you forever. I heard a story one time about a man that lost his family. Lost everything that he had. And he couldn't go back home. But he did not know Jesus. And one day he called upon his name. Said, Lord God, I can't go home to my family. Because I've let them down. I've lost everything. But I know one thing. I want to be as close to you as possible. And that man climbed the highest tree. He went up into the highest mountain. And he said, Lord Jesus, I have but one finger banana left. And when I eat it, Lord Jesus, I'm going to wait to die. But I ask that you may take me just as I am without one plea. Because I can't face my family. And while waiting in that tree to die, that man was at his last breath. He was breathing. His head dropped. He looked down. And under that tree, that man saw an old man stooped over with a walking stick. And that man, he looked a little closer because he was kind of curious. And he saw the man picking up the, the banana skin that he had thrown away. And that man picked up that banana skin that he had thrown away and he started to eat it. Oh my God, can this be? The man thought to himself, Oh God, can you please forgive me? Help me down, give me enough strength to come down out of, that, out of this tree. Because that which I thought that I was at my worst, there was somebody worse than me. Somebody found food in something that I thrown away. My God, how can I be so wrong? But precious Jesus, I know now that real, real, real Christ so real to me. I love him because he has given me this victory. Many people doubt him, but I cannot do without him. That is why I love him so, because he's so real to me. Folks, may God bless you and may he keep you. May he keep you through the highways, the byways, through all the hills and the valley. Oh, Lord, oh, Jesus, thank you. I love you. This is the darkness that I'm going to leave with you because there is plenty of darkness. And I'm going to cover up this video because this is what the youth are facing. And this is what I want you to remain seeing. And while I cover up this video, I will still speak because I want to leave it in your mind and leave an imprint of what the youth are facing. Oh, yes. I love you folks and God loves you. And that's the way it should be and if there's anything I can do, I speak in schools against drugs and crime. I visit prisons all over. I visit the homeless, the Salvation Army, many places. I do not charge for my services. But what I do charge for is the tape to continue my ministry. I love you and may God bless you. As I continue this ministry, I ask for those who can pray to continue to pray for me that I may keep on keeping on and that the gospel may continue. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen.